Hello everyone, Helen Yu here at NVIDIA GTC in San Jose. That's the GPU technology conference. I'm here with Pahal Patangia. He's the head of global industry business development for payments. Hello Pahal, nice to see you. Thanks for having me, Helen. Hey, great uh, it's to fantastic have you. to be here. Yeah, for great to reconnect. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I am so far. I mean, I <laughs> love the green vibe here, by the way. We are painting the show green. Yeah, <laughs> painting exactly. Exactly. So let's unpack the AI powered financial security today. But before we do that, why don't you introduce yourself? Tell us more about you and your role at Media. Sure, yeah. So, Pahal Patangia, I lead global industry business development for payments at NVIDIA. Mm -hmm. So, my role is to grow acceleration and adoption of accelerated computing into the broader payments ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So, think about the payment companies in the ecosystem who are building AI models. How do we help them grow in their AI journey through our AI expertise and mm -hmm. all the goodness which we bring from our investments into accelerated computing? And I do that with uh, rallying our entire ecosystem of not just our one-to-one -one direct field, mm -hmm. but also our 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 system ecosystem of partners, uh, be it the clouds, be it uh, on-prem vendors, be it uh, the global system integrators, or be it the VCs and the startups. Mm -hmm. Well, great to have you here. Speaking of the ecosystem, there's one partner I want to highlight today. Right, tell us more about your partnership with AWS, and then why it's so impactful for financial services. Certainly, uh, so AWS has been a great partner for NVIDIA uh, mm -hmm. since uh, for more than a decade now. Uh, and uh, the partnership has transcended from, you know, just not from just the infrastructure level mm -hmm. to going up to the industry level. So mm -hmm. uh, just talking about the early layers of that partnership, uh, it all began with uh, uh, the hardware, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the hardware goodness which we produce in terms of GPUs, CPUs, networking, uh, and then that getting adopted into AWS's mm -hmm. environments. And uh, uh, what we have been doing is that over the years, as new innovations in GPUs, you would uh, you would hear uh, uh, you know uh, in the conference as well mm -hmm. uh, as as and when they come they are they are made available within AWS mm -hmm. so that end customers the financial services and institutions and other industries can take the most can make the most advantage of that while being on AWS so that's the hardware side of things and on the software side of things is where AWS and Amazon have been great consumers of our platform. Uh, some of the things like Amazon Titan models mm. are being trained on NVIDIA software stack called NVIDIA Nemo. Uh, they, uh, there's a pro project called Project Siba uh, at AWS, uh, which is a huge supercomputer built on uh, NVIDIA's reference architecture. I, I love those names, by the way. <laughs> so that's another day for, an, for a joint. Probably we can talk more about it. Uh, you know, speaking of the partnership, right, I heard AWS will make presentation on Wednesday. They're going to talk about NVIDIA rapids on AWS. So can you tell us, you know, what we can expect from that session? Yeah, sure. So if you think about Transaction fraud detection is a problem. Mm -hmm. It's a $43 billion problem annually. Mm -hmm. And if you think about payment scams, it's hundreds of billions of dollars uh, mm -hmm. that would be lost in the coming years as you mm -hmm. think, as you see the entire global picture. And to combat that is where financial institutions are looking more into AI-based practices mm -hmm. so that uh, you can, they can stay ahead of the fraudsters. And in the spirit of that is where AWS and NVIDIA have come together and put together this fraud detection mm -hmm. workflow. Uh, think of it as a recipe mm -hmm. or a framework so uh, which enterprises can adopt to ultimately uh, build better models for fraud detection, gain more accuracy, uh, serve models with lowest latencies, serve customers better, mm -hmm. reduce false positives at the end of the day. And the crux of it is all the goodness of NVIDIA's platform when it comes to the AI ML pipelines uh, is embedded into AWS's services. Mm, so okay. NVIDIA Rapids would integrate into AWS EMR and AWS SageMaker. At the same time, uh, we are trying to infuse state-of-the-art uh, algorithms like graphene okay. networks, and transformers into AWS's services so that uh, customers on AWS 
can seamlessly adopt. So how do you work together to help financial services simplifying the process of building and scaling AI models? Yeah, so if you think about AI models and fraud detection pipelines mm -hmm. particularly, we divide it into three steps. Mm -hmm. The first step is data processing. Okay. The second step is model training. And third step is model inference. Okay. Now, if you think just about the first step, which is data processing, the amount of data in this industry, particularly mm -hmm. for use cases in fraud, is humongous. Oh, yeah. We're talking about terabytes to petabyte scale of data. Mm -hmm. And to process that at scale, you need, uh, you know, it requires a lot of time mm -hmm. and it, it incurs a lot of cost for financial okay. institutions. So what we have done is we have accelerated that data processing on GPUs and NVIDIA's accelerated computing platform. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the library is called Spark Rapids mm -hmm. and it's available within AWS EMR. Mm -hmm. So as a part of this integration which we have done, uh, what we are seeing is that these challenges could be very well catered when it comes to processing large data sets at scale. Mm -hmm. So once you process these data sets is where you have to send these data sets for model training. Yeah. And you will train it with state-of-the-art models, uh, right from tree-based models to graph neural networks, etc. And we have shown that how developers can pick it up easily and start building, fine-tuning their models mm -hmm. so that they stay ahead of the curve. Now, it is super important that these models need to be trained adaptively because you need to stay ahead of the fraudsters. Yeah and weed out those intricate anomalies into your into your data sets so that uh, you are able to catch fraud more effectively at the same time understand your patterns more better mm -hmm. so that you mm -hmm. reduce false positives mm -hmm. and that's the model training part the third part is model inference where you have to serve these transactions in real time and make sure that uh, you know your throughput requirements are maintained what does that mean is but if I'm making a transaction, I don't want it to hang for five or six or 10 seconds, yeah. but rather I would want a response in milliseconds. Time, yeah. And the second piece is, uh, uh, and the second piece is, be it Black Friday or just another day, mm -hmm. uh, your throughput requirements should be maintained and the system should be scalable. So NVIDIA libraries like Triton Inference Server integrate very closely with the Amazon SageMaker mm. to help achieve these capabilities. Okay. And you can't do all of these without an accelerated computing platform and a scalable cloud environment uh, like that of NVIDIA mm. and AWS combined. That's exciting, right? I get it. So the three steps, data processing, data training, and data inferencing. So you work together end to end with each other. Right. Yeah, so they they all stitched together yeah. as you know a series of steps, or you what you could think of as mm -hmm. a pipeline. If you okay. will. Yeah. Wonderful. So how will uh, AWS and Nvidia joint innovation continue to help financial services stay ahead of the evolving uh, fraud tactics, right? While maintaining scalability and uh, efficiency. Yeah. So one of the so one of the key motivations for us mm -hmm. to you know build together this workflow is a lot of financial institutions today are still stuck on rules based methods or yeah. statistical based methods for their fraud prevention practices mm -hmm. and that may have worked in the past but with digitization and fraudsters getting smarter than ever oh, yeah. it is super important that they take a more proactive approach than a reactive mm -hmm. approach and what i mean by that is that if you the rules based methods are more reactive okay. once the incident happens then you know about what the loophole was right, and you put a patch yeah, yeah. and you know the fraudsters would move on to find the next quirky thing they mm -hmm. would want to infiltrate into your system mm -hmm. whereas using ai and state-of-the-art techniques like i was mentioning like graph neural networks mm -hmm. the the models learn a greater context about the data. Mm -hmm. So they not just think about one transaction as an entity, but rather think of that as in the context of what all other transactions have happened mm -hmm. and would have a greater understanding of what could be the next transaction, mm -hmm. what would be the behavior on the next transaction. And then that would give them more confidence to predict whether a transaction is fraudulent or not. Mm -hmm. So that's a big benefit which comes out of adopting AI and machine learning algorithms. And the second piece is uh, that when 
you have to deploy these models. Mm -hmm. Now these models get super heavy and super clunky and which would result in latencies when they are being deployed in real time. Mm -hmm. So how do you make sure that if these models are streamlined and kind of made lightweight so that your uh, latency budgets and throughput budgets are maintained. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you scale it to billions of users, this problem becomes even more important to be solved. And that is where uh, the the piece which we are which 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 we are going to showcase in the session uh, mm -hmm. coming Wednesday in GTC uh, would talk about all the plumbing which we have taken care of so that uh, enterprises can have a seamless experience. I can't wait to uh, to go into that session on Wednesday. Thank you for sharing that. Hundred percent. So for all the financial uh, institutions, how can they think about deploying? Um, the use cases beyond the fraud protection? Yeah, uh, so if you think about uh, a typical retail bank or a payments firm, the gamut of use cases vary from uh, you know anti-money laundering to KYC to mm -hmm. customer service, personalization, mm -hmm. uh, etc. And uh, you know, and a lot of back office operations, be it around mortgage document processing. Mm -hmm. uh, so what ha what happens underneath each of them? is there are different AI and ML uh, workloads mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. uh, encompass these uh, use cases. Yeah. Now, some of them could be based on machine learning, some of them could be based on deep learning, mm -hmm. some of them could be based on large language models and generative AI. Mm -hmm. And it is crucial that uh, enterprises have the capability to build and deploy not just for one type of mm -hmm. workload but any kind of workload yeah. and and what nvidia and aws have enabled is that with the broader partnership and the integration and all the resources and the collateral which we have put together both at a technical level as well as at the business level this become easier and easier to deploy any kind of use case on on the combined platform Yes, and uh, ultimately, it, it it should all drive business KPIs at mm -hmm. the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So for the fraud detection example, which we are talking about, uh, a lot of KPIs would lie around, you know, not just reducing the fraud, mm -hmm. meaning mm -hmm. increasing accuracy, but uh, also about reducing false positives. Mm -hmm. Because okay. if you are able to do that, uh, uh, the customer experience is not happening. So that mm -hmm. directly translates into uh, your loyalty from the customer and at the same time, it also translates into better lifetime value and more stickiness of the customer. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, the effects of these models ultimately translate from the technical KPIs mm -hmm. to more of the business mm -hmm. KPIs and ultimately uh, driving growth, uh, mm -hmm. affecting PNL in a more positive way. And that is the whole mantra uh, mm -hmm. with which uh, you know the leading financial institutions are uh, kind of adopting this framework. Yeah, I'm so glad that you focus more on the business outcome, right, and then making it more measurable because that's one of the challenges um, adopting AI. Right. But you know what, financial services have always led in tech innovation and AI factories are the key part of this, right? Uh, how do AWS and NVIDIA view this trend as leaders in the industry? And first, could you explain what AI factories are? Yeah. And then talk about you know, how they are leading, you're leading together. Yeah, 100%. Uh, uh, one, of the, one of the examples I would mm -hmm. pick from the concept of uh, institutions who are you know, ahead in the race for just fraud detection, yeah. Uh, would be companies like Capital One okay. and Bunk, uh, who have been great proponents of a platform, mm -hmm. have been presenters at NVIDIA GTC yeah. in the past and even this year. Mm -hmm. uh, the Capital One story was super phenomenal mm -hmm. and, uh, in terms of you know how they uh, improve their uh, AI ML pipelines mm -hmm. to run 100x faster while saving 98% of the cost. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Bunk, who presented last year at GTC, Mm -hmm. around uh, leveraging accelerated computing for mm -hmm. fraud detection on AWS uh, uh, saw a reduction in uh, false positives by two and a half, wow. two and a half okay. X. 
uh, uh, that's a big leap when it comes to say reducing your number of manual reviews mm -hmm. and ultimately uh, reducing your operational costs when it comes to managing fraud at scale. Mm -hmm. So uh, those are the examples which give uh, these large institutions the confidence to invest more into AI mm -hmm. to leverage the maximum value of this okay. technology. And the, the moment which we are morphing into mm -hmm. is that enterprises are building and bringing more and more use cases to a unified platform. Mm -hmm. What we at NVIDIA call that as is AI factories. Okay. Now, anybody can build AI factories uh, through NVIDIA in AWS. And what that means is that it's not just you know your hardware, your, your infrastructure or mm -hmm. your software, but it's the entire cushioning coming together mm -hmm. so that you have a full stack platform. So you have your optimized hardware with your best of the best softwares, uh, which could serve into multitude of use cases, some of them which we discussed earlier. Mm -hmm. And the benefits of it are compounded layer by layer. Yeah. So at the hardware layer, you would get a certain X acceleration versus at the software layer, you would get another mm -hmm. uh, level of acceleration and you can just multiply these benefits mm -hmm. as you transfer into the use cases. And that is the big benefit of how the leading players are adopting a unified platform, investing into AI factories, and uh, our CEO Jensen Huang yeah. uh, calls the current way of AI as a new industrial revolution, mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. you know in the previous days you would uh, uh, the water would run through a machine and produce electricity, mm -hmm. which could be consumed for uh, great purposes down the line. Mm -hmm. And in today's era is where data is passed on from the left side. Yeah into a machine called transformers and algorithms oh, yeah. to produce tokens on the other side which uh, which could be distilled into insights so these ai factories mm -hmm. enable these machines and help churn out tokens which will ultimately bring more and more use cases uh, at the end of the day for financial institutions well that's a very vivid description right so thank you you know um People say 2023 was a year of large language model, 2024 was a year of um, RAG, and 2025 is a year of agentic AI. What's your thoughts on that? Absolutely, absolutely. We are super bullish on agentic mm -hmm. AI at GTC. Yeah. You'll hear a multitude of sessions yeah. focused on agentic AI, and particularly with uh, financial services and mm -hmm. industry, with a lot of workflows in place, a lot of a uh, lot of pieces which could be automated mm -hmm. uh, uh, and could be augmented with the introduction of agents into yeah. these workflows are a key area uh, for where we are looking keenly forward to. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, think of uh, your RPA like workflows. Think of your core banking, uh, think of uh, agent tech shopping, mm -hmm. all of these uh, areas are super exciting for us and we are totally looking forward to help the industry uh, lean into these uh, new trends yeah. which are coming. Maybe in two years we can both send our agent here to talk to each other. Huh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> uh, we, we at NVIDIA, uh, we plan to deploy hundreds of thousands of agents. Yeah. Uh, who would be assisting the employees down the line. So we're really looking forward to this uh, next era and uh, the revolution which is going to come. Yeah, me too. Awesome. Thank you so much, uh, Pahal. I really appreciate your time today. and look forward to the session on Wednesday, and I'll see you around. Likewise. Thanks, Alan. Thanks.